There's a basic rule of thumb in running that you always want to dress warmly enough for your first mile. You don't want to be overdressed. You don't want to be underdressed. You want to be right for your first mile. And you normally know if you put on too many clothes somewhere in that first mile. So what you want to do is say, just dress a little bit lighter because the first mile you're going to be warm. Now today it's in the 40s and I put on too much. So I'm going to take off this outer blue thing. And when I turn where the wind's exposed, I'm going to be freezing. But the nice part about this thing is I can tie it around my waist. Oh, you're looking up at the sky. And then I'm ready for the rest of this run the way I'm dressed now. Now, I've discovered that in life we often go out and we don't dress for the way it's going to be a mile or two miles. And that I mean dressing, I mean spiritually, emotionally, physically. We don't prepare for what it's going to be like in the future. We prepare only for what it's going to be like right now. And then we find ourselves ill-equipped for the days out ahead. I'm going to the Fred Hall Fish and Game Show today. It's basically a great big mall that you pay $20 to get into that moves from arena to arena across California. And you pay money to see stuff that you're going to spend money on. It's crazy. I'm looking forward to it. But the reason I'm going is because they sell fishing trips at discounts. I'm preparing for what I might get to do this summer. And if I find the right fishing trip, I'll purchase a fishing trip today. If I find the right fishing rod, I'll purchase a fishing rod today. And most years I go and I do n purchase nothing. I just ooh and ah at the boats and the fishing rods and the reels. But I'm trying to prepare for what's out ahead. In your life today, start preparing not just for today. Live today fantastic. But also be thinking about what's it going to be like in one mile. And don't overdress like I did today. Don't underdress. Just prepare yourself exactly right, and the more you're out, the more you're about in the world, you'll start thinking, oh, I know how to prepare for tomorrow, for next Friday, for next month, because I'm living today well. Live today well in all you say and do. Have a fantastic weekend. And if you're in Long Beach at the Fred Hall Show, text me. We can get together and have a cup of coffee. Have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you later.